15 year old Muncie Central High School student arrested tonight after threatening to come to school with a gun. News 8's Jenny Dreisler is back tonight from Muncie and Jenny, police got there quickly. Yeah, Mike, this was a situation that could have turned out so much differently, but it only took police three minutes to arrest the teen. But it's how this situation got as far as it did that has a lot of parents concerned and only four days into the new school year. Uh, yeah, it is pretty terrifying because within that three minutes of him bringing the gun to school, he could have not only shot somebody, but he could have shot himself. A scary situation in Muncie for parents and students. Police say a Muncie Central High School student was found outside the school with a loaded small caliber handgun. It was weird and scary. Like if he got so close to the school, it's very scary. Investigators say school resource officers had dealt with the 15 year old earlier in the day, but didn't say what they had talked to him about. They said he left before school dismissed. Then around 2.45 in the afternoon, a resource officer got a tip that the teen had a gun and was planning to come back to school. And with how quickly this went, from the time the school resource officer is told to you know, the time that he's in custody, this is quick. Just three minutes later, officers found the teen right across from the high school at the intersection of Myrtle and Walnut. The boy refused to cooperate with police, but was eventually arrested. We may never know exactly what the intentions were. And so, yeah, I mean, you look at shootings across the country, I mean, those quick responses save lives without a doubt. Parents and students we talked to upset they weren't notified about the situation until after the fact, why the school wasn't locked down, and why the teen was able to leave the school at all without police intervening earlier. He knew what he was doing. It's not like he didn't know. He knows right from wrong. So, yes, he should be punished, but I also think he needs help. Don't just stick him in a jail cell and not get him any help. Police said the school was not placed on lockdown because this all just happened so quickly. The name of that teen, by the way, has not been released because he's a juvenile. Now, he's currently being questioned by police and will then be transferred to the juvenile detention facility. No word yet what charges he may face, but police again reiterating they believe this was an isolated incident, but they will be beefing up security at Muncie Central High School tomorrow. Jenny Dreisler, Wish TV News 8. Scary situation, Jenny. All right, thank you.